Why do people still buy the Saint Louis when you can get your hands on the Artois? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you didn't realize, in today's video we're going to be reviewing a Goyar bag. So the newest addition to my collection and I can't wait to show you guys what I got. But before that, let's just talk a little bit about Goyard. So the company was founded in 1853, just one year before Louis Vuitton, but it did exist for many, many years before that. So the house was first named Maison Martin after its founder, Pierre-François Martin, and dates back to 1792, so almost 100 years before it was founded as Goyard. So the company later changed its name to Maison Morel after Louis-Henri Morel, Martin's successor. And finally, in 1853, François Goyard purchased the company and named it Goyard as we know it today. So Goyard is an ultra-exclusive brand. They are known for their, their exclusivity. So you will never see them advertising on huge billboards or uh, commercials or uh, magazine ads. They don't do that at all. They rarely, very rarely grant interviews. They do have an Instagram page and you will see them from time to time post a little video or picture of their upcoming or their newest models or products. However, you will never ever ever see a celebrity or a top model or a person in general model modeling their handbags or their products. So they try to maintain this exclusivity and they work very hard to do so today as well. And if you think about it, they are one of the only luxury brands that do not sell their products or their goods online. And up until the pandemic, they wouldn't really post or show their, their models online. You really had to walk into a Goya boutique to, to see what they had to offer. I don't know if the pandemic had something to do with it, but ever since the pandemic, they do show now their, their different SLGs and different handbags, different trunks. However, the prices are not listed. You really have to walk into the store to, to find out more about their products. I do believe if you do contact their customer service, they will answer you and about the price and availability of the product. But other than that, you will not see prices for the, their goods or handbags anywhere on their website or Instagram page for that matter. One of the most recognizable things about Goyard is their Goyardine print or their monogram. And what's special about the Goyardine print is that unlike many other designers who use their first, the first letter of their name as their monogram print, Goyard uses the Y, so the middle letter of their name. So basically the, their monogram or their version of the monogram is basically just interlocking Ys to create that motif that we, we all recognize today. So what's very special about the Goyardine monogram or the Goyard monogram is that if you look very carefully the interlocking Y's are made up of tiny little dots and those little dots kind of symbolize the family's history of being log drivers so their little dots kind of represent logs and they come together to make up this interlocking Y motif for design and what's really special about this brand is that back in the day this kind of Goyard motif and canvas was all hand painted onto the bag that has changed nowadays it's more of an etching it's kind of done by machines and it's more of an etching and layering process but it's very special that up until recently i don't have the date exactly if you guys do leave it in the comment section below but their little their canvas all those little dots that make up those y's were hand painted so now let's get to the exciting part of the video let's unbox my new goya handbag so let's get to it so the bag comes in a huge yellow Goyard dust bag like this. And ta-da! I got the Goyard Artois tote bag in black, of course. And I could not be happier with this bag. I just adore it so much. It's so practical. It's a lot more durable than the St. Louis, and it looks kind of a lot like the St. Louis, so this makes me very happy. So the bag does come with, like I mentioned, the dust bag. We also do have uh, the authenticity card. This is just the receipt. 
And the authenticity card is in here. I'm not going to pull it out. I just don't want it to get that ruined, but here it is. So how I came to adding this bag into my collection, the story is very simple. I've said it and retold it many, many times before, but a few years ago, right before the pandemic, I was shopping in London and I did stop by the Goya boutique because I was very interested in maybe adding the Saint Louis to my collection. But after seeing the Saint Louis in person, I really thought it was kind of flimsy, kind of like, it looked kind of cheap and not durable. It's a tote bag, right? So I, tote bags usually tend to get heavy, they tend to get filled. So I need something that is not going to rip apart after using it a couple of times. Needless to say, I didn't purchase the bag. I watched a few videos back at my hotel and they kind of coincided with what I thought. The bag wasn't that durable after all, so I changed my mind and decided to put the St. Louis on a back burner. It just wasn't the bag for me and for my purposes, it wouldn't really work. At the end of my trip, I was sitting <laughs> on a couch facing the Chanel boutique in the uh, London airport and I saw a lady wearing a Goyard tote bag. It wasn't the St. Louis. It kind of looked more, it looked a lot like the St. Louis, but looked just more durable, more reinforced. The corners were protected. So ever since that moment, I still remember she had the gray version. I really, really wanted the Artois. That was the Goyard bag for me. So basically then a couple of weeks ago, I was in Paris and I decided why not add the Artois to my collection. It would make such a great souvenir from my Paris trip. And I was lucky enough that they had the bag in the size I wanted, in the color I wanted. And it was just the stars were aligned and I finally got my hands on my Goyard tote bag. So as you can see, just by quickly glancing at the Artois, it is a nod to the also popular Saint Louis tote bag. However, the enhanced corners and the zipper closure do make it a more durable, more secure version of that handbag. They basically took a handbag I loved and improved it and turned it into this and you can't go wrong with this. Not only does this handbag look and remind me a lot of the Saint Louis tote bag, but it also does give off very strong Louis Vuitton never full vibes just that where i'm from in my city there is no goyard boutique at all so these are more rare goyard handbags and tote bags are just more rare in general compared to louis vuitton neverfull so i'm very happy i decided or i could get my hands on this one so after purchasing this bag and having time to kind of like analyze it and just look at it and like look at all the details i'm really in love even more so than i was when i actually the day i actually bought this bag there's so many like details on it that i will be showing you throughout the video that i'm in love basically so this handbag is made in france all goyard or to my knowledge all goyard handbags and luxury goods leather goods slgs are made in France. The Artois is no exception. This uh, Artois does come in two sizes. Comes in a medium size and a large size. I did get the large size just because it's a tote bag, so I wanted to fit a good amount. The medium was just a little too small for me. It kind of came up to like a regular handbag size. Now it really does not weigh that much empty. It weighs around 600 grams. As for the dimensions of the large, basically 17 centimeters, 30, 50. And the shoulder strap is about 25 centimeters, if I'm not mistaken, which is a very decent amount. It fits perfectly onto your shoulder and you can wear it, wear it very easily. This bag is available in all the Goyard colors, all the regular cl colors, so black and the black and caramel, as well as all the special colors. So you have your green, your Bordeaux, your red, your yellow, your orange, your white, your blue, you name it, it's available in those colors. For those of you wondering, they're all available. All the colors are available on their website, so you can see them all there. And I kind of just went with a classic black because I wanted something just simple, timeless, and that I could use with many outfits, many, many times of the year. I just wanted something very versatile and that just matched everything basically. So as with all other Goyard bags or SLGs, 
the artwork can be personalized with kind of your stripes and your initials or whatever. I decided not to go for the uh, personalization just because I didn't want my bag to be too flashy. I really wanted it to like match everything and just be very classic. And I feel like there's already enough going on with the whole Goya print or monogram that I decided to opt out of the personalization. But for those of you who are interested, you can definitely go for that. I don't believe there are any extra charges for personalization. I might be wrong. Like I mentioned, I didn't really push it because I knew I didn't want mine to be personalized. So when my essay kind of recommended or not recommended, but offered me the personalization, I kind of just turned her down about it. So I'm not sure if there are any extra charges. There might be, there might not be. I don't think so, but you never know. So personalization does take a while to do just because whatever you do decide to paint on to your, your handbag, is done by hand so everything is painted on by hand by a Goyard artisan in like one of their their boutiques or one of their like ateliers and in my case i purchased my handbag at the uh, printemps shopping mall in uh, in paris obviously and they did not do the hand painting there so my bag had to be shipped out to um to an atelier house that kind of that did offer or that they did do the the painting on the spot so it did it would take about a week or two my essay did mention so if you're planning on getting purchasing a goyard bag and planning to get it personalized do so at the beginning of your trip especially if there's no goyard boutique in your in your city and you're going elsewhere you're on vacation just so to give yourself enough time to get it personalized like you like you wanted as for pricing, the Artois does go for 1,600 euros, which is very decently priced if you do compare it to the Neverfulls of this world and the, the Saint Louis as well. And the outside of the bag is made in Goyardine canvas, as you can see. It is not all canvas, however, the body of the bag is canvas, but the, the handles, the trimmings, as well as the corners are, are all made of calfskin. And the interior of the bag is just in this like white linen material. It's very light colored, but I mean, it kind of does match with the look of the bag. So there is not much hardware on this bag apart from the, the zipper maybe and like an inner snap for the inner pocket, but it is all in silver hardware. Now, what I do find interesting is that the website mentions that the all the hardware on the bag is palladium plated. However, it wasn't the way they worded it on the website. It wasn't very clear if the hardware was palladium coated or just palladium color. However, knowing Goyard and how exclusive and luxurious they are, I do think that the hardware is palladium coated. If you guys have any more information or if you're you have, you know, from an essay or whatever, please leave your comments in the comment section. I would really love to know if it is palladium coated. However, I mean, I'm pretty sure it is. The translation is just a little off on their website. So the zipper, it is zipper closure. It's very easy and smooth to open and close the bag, which I love. And the zipper pull is kind of like a, a normal zipper pull, but at the end, it does kind of have like a G for Goyar, which is very cool. So the interior of the bag, like I had mentioned, is like in this linen cotton blend in white. It does have like an interior floating pocket. And one of my favorite parts of the bag is that the outside of the pocket is in that same cotton linen blend, but the inside is Goyard canvas, which makes it, it's just like a hidden secret. And I just love it. It's so cool to look at. The pocket does have leather trimming as well in the same color, so black. So the straps are kind of very simple. They're very, they're thin straps, kind of like the Neverfull, and they're in black leather, obviously with black stitching on them. They really do look like Neverfull straps. But what I love about these straps is that the base of the straps, there's kind of like red st stitching that go around the base, which once again makes it kind of very unexpected, very cool, and just like a little detail. So I really do like the little details on this bag that are kind of unless you purchase the bag or you've seen the bag in person you really you wouldn't really know because they do have pictures on their website but they're kind of very basic pictures which is fine i know they want to keep their exclusivity and it's not a complaint whatsoever now if you do look at the goyardine motif very closely it is a mixture of like white dots 
caramel dots and like darker brown dots and every once in a while you do see a uh, Goyard Honoré Paris which is a very cool very it kind of has like it's kind of textured you kind of feel the dots if you move your finger over the bag so I mean it's just a very cool bag to carry around and I'm so so happy I could get my hands on this and I can't wait to use this bag so that's my review for today. I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you learned a lot about Goyard and just the Artois in general. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to leave all your comments and questions in the comment section below. I'll be sure to answer them and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.